I'm Nate. And I'm Nick. And you're watching Cat, Cat TV, TV News. News. This morning is peer outreach. Freshmen will meet with their peer leaders and all other classes will be called to class meetings by announcement. There will be a modified bell schedule until fifth period. Last week, I got to interview the girls basketball coach, Wannington, on how the season has been going for them. Here's the interview. Um, I'm Cat TV reporter Nick Baim. I'm here with Coach Waddington, the head coach of the, of the girls basketball team. Um, my first question to you is how has the season been? Um, the season has been very well. I mean, we kind of got quarantined early because of um, before Christmas break. So we didn't start the season with the opener that we were supposed to. Um, we didn't get to play in the classic, so kind of sidelined us with holidays and stuff almost three weeks. So when we came back in January, it was like completely starting over. Um, anything that we gained, I mean, knowledge we kept, but cardio, we had to kind of get back into it. And with the snow days, we came back and had to play with one day of practice. And, you know, with doing all of that, I think they've honestly picked up and embodied what I've asked them to, um, and we're doing great so far. We're at two and three, so hopefully today being three and three. Yeah, that's very good. Do you think the season has gotten better since day one, uh, since the quarantine? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, this team is very, very close uh, chemistry-wise. They play very well together, and I think um, it's something that's just going to continue to grow as we move on. Nice. Um, any improvements do you think um, the team has to work on to get into just the greater goal? Um, I think my first five kids, um, they play very well together. Um, so I think the only improvement I could see is that as we move forward, trying to get that sixth and seventh kid to be able to get on the floor and continue to keep the effort that's there when the first five are. Um, my next two kids off the bench are freshmen. Um, but I can see the last two games, has, it's been a lot of growth. Like, I've been very impressed with both of them, so I think we're getting there. Nice. Um, well, good luck with the rest of your season, and thank you again. All right, thank you. Nice interview, Nick. In more sports last week, the boys' swimming team beat Wildwood Catholic 110-57, to and as of last Friday, they're at three wins and four losses for this season. January is the month of responsibility. This week's question of the week is, what does responsibility mean to you? Let's hear what Kate Maytech has to say. Um, I think an example of responsibility would be doing your work on time too and stuff. I'd also say like being organized and making sure you're on top of things, make sure like the things that are due first, you do them. And doing the work right too. Yeah. Yeah. Responsibility, I do that every day in this office. You need an ID, you come see me. What I think it means to be responsible is doing your chores that your parents tell you to do. Um, I think responsibility is bringing your tools to class. And I think responsibility is cleaning up after yourself. Um, I would say like doing everything, like doing everything on like the right task and not doing what you're not supposed to be doing when nobody's watching. I think being responsible means to be responsible. <laughs> Being responsible means if your friend needs a cookie, you get him a cookie. Being responsible means um, if you have children, to take care of them. When I think of responsibility, I think of a Spider-Man. Uh, to be responsible, it's like, you know, oh, your mom asks you to take the trash out, you know, take the trash out, you know? Like, yeah, like, you, yeah. like if you have a dog, like, yeah, be responsible, take care of the dogs, you know? You know, like, you just do what you're supposed to, you know, live life, you know? With great power comes great responsibility. I think you should do your homework because that's very responsible. Also make sure you do your school work. Uh, just do stuff around the house and take care of yourself. Make sure that you're drinking enough water. Um, example of responsibility for me is helping out in the preschool with playing with little kids and responsibility means to me, to, I to be honest, I don't even know. Um. One way I'm responsible is when I turn on my work and help my friends turn on their work. It's great. Yeah. What does it mean to be responsible? Uh, being responsible is doing what you need to do, no matter how much it sucks. Just continue to push through and get to the goals that you need to get to. Well, that's all for today. I'm Nick. And I'm Nate. And this has been Cat, Cat TV, TV News. News.